Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick video on simple DIY solar panels and um, having them in your off-grid location like me in my shack, an ice hut, a trap cabin, um, your bug out shack, whatever you want to call it, you can do it and it's really simple. And there's my phone of course. And anyone can do it with just simple kits that you can buy at Canadian Tire, Home Depot, uh, probably Lowe's, um, Princess Auto, all those places. It's super simple. There's nothing to it. And people complicate the heck out of it for no reason. And uh, sometimes kiss is the, the word to keep in your, the back of your mind. Keep it simple, stupid. So outside we have a solar panel collecting energy from the sun. Doesn't matter how it does it, it just does it. Creates it into power that we can use. It comes into this charge controller. This charge controller controls the amount of power coming in so that it doesn't hurt our battery. This is seven amp max. 14.2 volts cut in at 13 volts you can see that the yellow light is on which means it's charging green light would mean that it's charged red light means low voltage this is just a coleman standard run-of-the-mill nothing special nothing to write home about crappy used battery that i got not even a real good battery to use out here to be honest you should uh spend a bit of money or find a, a better battery than this one but this one does the job so you've got the power coming in from the solar panel going into the charge controller from the charge controller it goes into the battery and charges your battery just like a battery charger would it's got the alligator clamps away you go so if you want to run household appliances you need an inverter if you just want to run like 12 volt fans and that sort of thing your battery is all you need and you can connect off your posts and away you go. So for the big cables, they go to an inverter. This is just a cheap 1000, uh, I think it's a 1000 watt inverter. Nothing special, Canadian tire, I think it was about a hundred bucks. Um, it's got two outlets, so you can plug in. It gives you your voltage and all that sort of stuff there's a power button up there there's also that small gray cable that phone line cable gives you a remote off and on or a power switch so i have that mounted over here by my door so that when i come in i can just hit that switch and it turns everything on light switch back here controls the light gonna put another light in over here eventually so for my outlet I just have an extension cord going down and down in here I have two boxes um, one for plugins one for lights nothing nothing uh, complex try to keep it as simple as possible just like your house so I have two outlets there's one in behind there there's one right there one light for now, one light switch. Another light's gonna go up there. LED lights require very little power. I have my, uh, sorry for moving around so quickly. I have uh, my cell phone charging. I have a Bluetooth speaker that I listen to music. The one light, and that's all I need. I'm happy, I, keep, uh, I can keep stuff charged. Uh, whether it's a cell phone, a GPS, satellite phone, computer, I can listen to music, bring a radio. I listen to satellite radio a lot. Um, you know, the sky's the limit. You could run a 12 volt fan to blow some heat around in here from the fire, the wood stove. Cook on that. You can bring a propane uh, stove out, put it up on your table or somewhere. Futon, you're off to the races. Um, don't complicate it. If you're trying to do a house, then get someone in who knows what they're doing. But if you're just trying to power a light and a radio, 
it's really quite simple for you know three four hundred bucks you're off to the races and you never have to worry about bringing propane lanterns out and that sort of stuff that battery's been out here now for two years that was a used battery when i got it not a good battery it failed a load test that's why i have it does the job it's uh it's that simple so uh if you're thinking about it go ahead and do it it's easy to do there are videos out there that'll show you uh, the more advanced methods and uh you know if you're planning on powering a microwave and all that sort of stuff but uh, for me i'll lighten the radio and i'm laughing so anyways guys hope you enjoy the video please subscribe and uh have fun we'll see you later